folks, this is really good right here. You know, there are times uh, that couples fall in love at first sight, and that's it. They're together forever. For others, it takes some time. Each tale is unique, but some are so extraordinary that they become stuff of legends. That's why we created our ongoing series called American Love Story. <laughs> and here to share their unbelievable romance is Bonnie, Kate, and Max. <laughs> how, you, how you guys doing? Take us back to the beginning when you first met. So I met Bonnie Kate uh, through our church. Her family is a big part of our church back home, and I've known them for years. And they were throwing a birthday party for their oldest daughter, Bonnie Kate, at the time. Uh, she was turning 16, and they invited a bunch of people from our church over. And so I went and uh, saw her, and I just remember thinking that was the most beautiful person I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were pretty way. amazing, too. So you went on a date? Yeah, so, uh, you know, after that, uh, I... Uh, Fast forward a few years, you know, she was, she was 18 and I just wanted to find a way to get to know her. She had just come back from a mission trip in Haiti. We kind of had that, that in common, missions and mission trips. And so we just ended up hanging out all the time and um, we would just talk and became really good friends. And I finally mustered up the courage to ask her daddy <laughs> if I could ask her on a date and uh, I took her on a date. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, and he came on really strong and it kind of freaked me out at the time, but we dated for a little while. So the, the relationship didn't last then, huh? No, we ended up breaking up um, and we weren't in contact for a little while. Um, just because I wasn't ready. I was 18 and over, a little overwhelmed. I came I, on a little strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That scared yeah. me off. Yeah. It kind of scared me off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we lost touch. Okay, but something happened that brought you back together. Yeah, so, you know, I was pretty crushed. We, we only dated for like two or three weeks, but I was kind of all in. And so uh, <laughs> we broke up and That's didn't talk for about out. five months. And so July 20th, 2012, so almost three years ago now, I was really restless that night. Um, hadn't talked to her in months. I knew she was on a road trip in Colorado, and that's about it. And then I saw on Twitter that night about this, this shooting in a movie theater in a little town called Aurora. So I texted her mom. I said, I know it's like 1 in the morning. I'm, I'm sorry to you know, wake you up, but I, I have to know from my own curiosity. I know Bonnie Kate's on a road trip. There's no chance she's in this theater, right? And her mom called me and told me that Bonnie Kate was in the theater. Uh, she had been shot um, in her left knee, and we didn't really know at that point if she was going to make it. And so I, you know, lost it. How do you how do you react to something like that? You don't really know how you're going to react. So I kind of lost it, um, cried, prayed with my roommate, and uh, just kind of just kind of waited to see what would happen next. So you were in the theater. Yes, sir, I was. That had to be a pretty terrifying moment. Yes, about 15 minutes into the movie, the shooter came in and um, threw a tear gas bomb across the screen and um, then started shooting. And I knew right away, like, it was real. So I ducked down um, behind the seats and I felt a big bang in my knee, like a big board had smacked me, my whole body jolted from it, and I was shot in my left knee. But it's crazy because in the middle of all that mm. chaos and darkness and, you know, just evil, <laughs> you know, the thing that I felt was peace, like, I can't even describe to you. God was just so near mm. and so real, and he just held me and comforted me. And he sent someone to come save me. A guy from another theater came into our theater room and saw me on the ground and helped me out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now, how do you reconnect after the shooting? Yeah, I, I didn't know what to do because there's so many emotions going through me, but I knew, like, just to serve and be a friend. And so I literally went to her parents' house at 3 in the morning and woke up with each of her siblings as they woke up for school. She's the oldest of seven and told them the news. And then her parents flew out to Colorado to take care of her because she was there for about almost two weeks. So I just camped out at her, at her parents' house with her siblings and just helped them kind of, you know, do life because their parents were out of town and, uh, and just served. And then once she came back, uh, you know, she wasn't quite ready to see me yet because she was still on, like, yeah. breakup terms. I, on the other hand, was like, you almost died. You're alive. I'm thankful you're alive. She's like, don't come. Don't even think about coming to the hospital. <laughs> So, uh, so I gave her some space and didn't go to the hospital, and that's what she needed was some space, so I was glad to give it. Yeah, and, like, it was perfect. After he had, like, given me space, we were able to start being friends again, and it was crazy how I knew that he loved me, but he was being patient and trying not to pressure me, and it was perfect. And, well, I'm going to listen yeah. the first time. I wasn't going to lay it on <laughs> but, again. So. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so anyway, I guess almost a year later, um, I we were just driving in the car, and it hit me, and I was just like, 
Max, I want to marry you. And he like swerved off the road and almost like, you know, freaked out in um, that, which led to an like, epic proposal. I was um, like, hold on, I gotta, I gotta plan something here. I, like, I, got, I got some ideas about how I want to ask you. So, so, yeah. so, 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 so what'd you do? How, how did, did you work up the proposal? Yeah, so I'm a filmmaker and uh, she almost died in a movie theater. So I knew I had to combine those two things. And so I wanted to redeem that space for her in a way that was meaningful and honoring to her, but also an expression of who I was. So. I wrote this um, fake romantic comedy movie trailer and disguise it as an actual trailer before a movie. So I take her to movies just like on an unassuming afternoon and these real trailers play, then mine plays. And at the end of it, the actor looks into the screen and says, Bonnie Kate, this trailer is fake and this romantic <laughs> gesture is for you. And so she freaks out yeah. and we exit the theater and we go on this scavenger hunt <laughs> that ends with me on one knee um, asking for her hand in marriage. And yeah. so, uh, so I, I documented the whole thing being a filmmaker. There you yeah. go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, that's the reaction they have today. <laughs> so I filmed the whole thing because I, I wanted to have it for me and for our kids down the road. And as a gift to her on our wedding, I, I edited together kind of our whole story. It's almost like a journal, almost like therapy, and showed it at our rehearsal dinner. All of our friends and family were crying <laughs> and said, you got to put this thing online. And anyways, we did uh, in a film called Wildflower, and it went viral. And so here we are. This is pretty good. <laughs> this is a great story. <laughs> Uh, you guys got married in May. Yeah. Everything good? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crazy. Guys. <laughs> I mean, I have, you know, lots of nerve damage and deep bone pain. And um, I really don't know what I would do without Max. I'm just so grateful. I couldn't do it without you. I feel like every day I outkick my coverage. Clearly, I mean, <laughs> I just feel like I, just, yeah. I really, yeah. really. Way out your league. Way out my league. I know. Yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> I know, the feeling. but you know what, man? Yeah. It's it's really it's really a cool thing. Listen, you guys, you 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 have an amazing story, and and we want to help you write the next chapter. So we're gonna send you all on a five night beachfront trip to the Aruba Marriott Resort in a oh my <laughs> Stellaris <laughs> Casino in Aruba. What? And Are you're gonna experience a private cabana, a sunset. Catamaran sale oh and cuisine at the resort. Toes in the sand restaurant. Simply fish. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, you was in the. Yeah. Thank you, know, you what, so much. I can't show it and then don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Want to say thanks to Bonnie, Kate, and Max. We'll be right back. Oh